I think they've copped a plea deal. They've dropped the felony burglar charges and shit. And um, he's getting charged with trespassing, which is like a 60-day, 90-day offense. At the top, for most, at most, like 90 days. And like a $500 fine. So that's his plea deal. He gets out, <clears throat> basically, he's got free. Baked Alaska, by the way, has been sentenced for a second 60-day jail sentence, this time federally. Um, he got 60 days for the macing a bouncer at a club in Vegas or Nevada. I'm not sure exactly where it was. Arizona, I think. Uh, and now he's been sentenced for 60 days for trespassing on federal property. If you don't know, Baked Alaska was one of the only people who went into Nancy Pelosi's office. He kicked his feet up on her desk, and he live-streamed the entire thing. And he got 60 days. There are people in jail for like eight years right now over the January 6th stuff. However, the federal government has extensively used his footage to put those other people in jail. So they've given him 60 days uh, because he was more of a benefit to the U.S. federal government than he was a detriment by being in Nancy Pelosi's office. He documented absolutely everything for them. For the for making for, to make a quick buck, basically, uh, he sold out. He documented the crimes of hundreds of other people and put those people in a facial recognition database for the rest of their lives um, to get super chat money, basically. So he gets sixty days. And from what I was told, if you go to jail for sixty days, the other prisoners know. There's something weird. Apparently, 60 days is like a mean sentence. And people know if you get 60 days for something, <clears throat> you copped out. You did something. You're, you're either a celebrity or you are a, a, a narc. Or they think that you're an ever undercover. They think that you're undercover police because uh, apparently when police do stings in prison, they do 60 days undercover. So, I don't know. Have fun with that. <clears throat> I, really, I really hate big... I hate people... I hate more than anybody. I hate people who are disingenuous. That's why I don't like people like Amberlynn Reed. That's why I don't like people like uh, Gwyn. Why I don't like Nick Fuentes. Why I don't like Bait. It's like you have a persona that is so completely fictitious that, about how you actually feel. You're you're an entirely self-centered person, and you try to pretend otherwise, and you and you really hope the worst for them, even if it's just secretly. Like. It, you, you never you never want to think that good things are happening to these fucking people because it's just a charade. Their entire life is just a, a put upon, and it, it is angering to, to see someone behave like that. Like the annoying thing about the baked Alaska thread is that everyone's just like BBC, BBC. And it's like he's going, he's getting sixty days. They might even not even put him in a jail. They might just put him in like a holding cell for sixty days. What's the point of sending someone on a on a bus out of state to a federal jail just for 60 days by the time he gets dressed and gets into his holding cell his time's gonna be up especially when he already has time served for shit like what's the point <clears throat> you might as well just put him in arizona for you know 120 days consecutive 